first day of my last semester. I'm so excited. I just need to get this semester done with. Um, but I have class today at, it's at one. So my classes are Alberta time and I'm in BC. So everything is like, yeah, it's at one. So 12 o'clock here. I have a gynae appointment at 10, 10. So I'm just gonna go get ready and go out so I can get some work done. Oh. And that's about it. Today I have a gynae appointment at 10 o'clock. It is 9, so I gotta start getting ready soon. Um, I have a class today at 12. It's technically 1 p.m. Alberta time, but it's 12 because I'm in DC. But yeah, I am here on my last first day. I genuinely thought I would not be here today just because there's a lot of things going on in my life during this degree and I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> um, first year, I actually failed a class. I failed mid micro because my ex broke up with me the day before midterm, and I failed that midterm. Therefore, I failed that class. But looking back now, if that did not happen, I would not be where I am today, and so, I'm a firm believer that things happen for a reason and you know my life has been really good so far since then. I honestly just have to make it through the birth of my son and my 192 clinical leadership hours and I should be good. Um, I know looking back, I know people like to view my page and like, oh my god, you're such an inspiration. Honestly, I feel like I haven't done much. Um, but I do talk about how there's nothing wrong with doing your LPN first and working, getting your work experience, getting your hours in the hospital, and then coming back and doing your RN. I know nowadays it's so hard to just get into an RN program, but yeah, I did it. I don't know how I did it. So a lot of people asked me when I started applying for my RN school. Honestly, I was doing a lot of research during my LPN program and I was researching the schools, I was emailing schools, and then I went to visit my aunt in Alberta and I met up with a friend and she said, why don't you try the local college here? And I was like, oh, I'll think about it. <laughs> and it was a random clinical day. We were at VGH. It was clinical, it was lunch time, and I applied. Out of nowhere, it was $50. I was like, what do I have to lose other than the $50? And then I got accepted. A few months later, I honestly did not expect that acceptance, but I did. <laughs> um, in regards to my GPA, my GPA at the time when I was at my LPN school was not that great. I think my average was like an 82 and they took that into consideration more than my high school marks, which was great. I was considered a mature student because I was over the age of 21. Um, but yeah, to those that say they want to do their RN but it's too late, it's it's not too late. <laughs> it's never too late. I always tell older nurses, you know what, it's never too late, but at the same time, your seniority bumps out everybody else's because once you do your RN and you graduate your RN, your seniority goes back to the bottom. And I feel like that's really what people consider before doing the RN program. But at the same time, we're very lucky that BCNU has did, has bargained that they will consider your LPN service years into the seniority and to your RN pay. And I'm going to get ready soon. I have my coffee right here. Um, apparently, the university's 
football championship is coming up and it's UW versus Michigan. And of course, I'm a West Coast girly, so go Huskies. I got back from the gynae appointment. Baby's fine, head is down. Apparently I'm not even close to getting an induction even if I asked for one. So there's that. Um, I was gonna go to a cafe after, but it's snowing really heavily outside. So I'm just gonna get some work done before my class here at home. And that's about it. Another thing that I do is I write, or like I start a Google Doc for all the assignments that need to be done and I write the due date. So J12 being January 12th. And so they're pre-done and then everything that needs to be on the doc like for example like i copied and pasted the stuff that needs to be on the assignment onto the doc already so i don't have to go back and forth back and forth between the class and the doc and yeah i just finished a forum post it took me a while because finding the article for these forum posts are the long part it's not about writing it it's about finding the article and I'm going to show you guys now what I do once I've done a forum post. I have done the forum post etc etc so earlier I talked about how I make all the docs and stuff like that so when I submit it I will write submitted and then it should pop up on the the, the drive the drive um, folder as submitted so that's one done and I have a few more to go. So I am here with my coffee, it's just an oat milk latte with a few shots of vanilla syrup. Mm -hmm. Nothing added, it's literally vanilla syrup to the line because that's equivalent to I think six pumps of vanilla at Starbucks and then two shots of espresso and oat milk. I had one afternoon class yesterday and it was very hard to concentrate. I have not had a sit down class since before preceptorship and being online, the disadvantage is that you have so many distractions around you and it's just hard to focus. Um, yeah. So one thing about yesterday's class was that we did not expect it to be like an actual class. Usually on the first day, we just go over the syllabus, any questions for assignments, and then we go home. But no, yesterday was a full-on class, and everybody was just so tired. We weren't really focused. It's our first class back since winter break, um, and our first time in a Zoom meeting since, like, maybe September. So it was very hard for a lot of us to focus, and me being one of them. Um, found out a girl I met through Instagram is in the same class as me, and we were, like, messaging each other the entire class, and we're like, do you know what's going on? And she said no, and I was like, I felt a lot better knowing I wasn't the only one that didn't know what was going on. So today's class till Friday is an online class, and it's in the morning, and I feel like I concentrate a lot better in the morning anyway. Like, I feel like the afternoon class, it just dragged on because it was the afternoon, but I feel like the afternoon classes are a lot better for me because it's the morning, and then I have the rest of the afternoon to do everything I need to do. And so yeah, 44 minutes. So I have 45 minutes. So I'm just gonna buckle down on some of the assignments that I need to do and go to class. So with me being completely online this semester, I definitely see the advantages and disadvantages to this. Um, an advantage is obviously that I'm home, I'm surrounded by family, etc., etc. The disadvantage is obviously you don't get that one-to-one -one, like communication with your instructor. I understand you can set up emails and stuff, but half the time it would be nice to have a meeting with my instructor in person in their office, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Another thing that I liked about being in person and living on campus is that I actually get up, get motivated, and then usually just stay on campus. I'll like go to the student commons, go to the library. Meanwhile, because I'm online learning, I'm just at home. Uh, half the time, if I want to go out, I have to see if I even want to go out anymore. 
and yeah obviously everyone is different some students love online learning because they're home and some people don't like online learning after being online because of covid when my class transitioned back to in person it was very hard for me to wake up so i generally don't understand how i was able to get up at a certain time get ready look presentable take transit etc etc but now it's so hard to just wake up even like 10 minutes before class very productive day um got most of the assignments that i can get ahead on done already it's just the assignments that I have to do like as the semester goes on is all I have left but I managed to knock out all of these little things Good morning guys it is Wednesday it is another day another 8 a.m. class um, so for the next two weeks uh, this class is basically preparing us for a mentorship for mentorship, I did ask to be put in one of the mental health teams in Vancouver because that was something that interested me, that interested me. Um, yesterday was a heavy assignments day, and so I'm wearing glasses in case I get tired and I just want to nap. But for the next two weeks, we're being prepared for the mentorship, like part where we're with one on one with uh, uh, with somebody. Um. So we have a bunch of guest speakers, and then we just have to write a reflection on the guest speakers. And yeah, that's basically what the next two weeks look like. Um, I have one more discussion post I need to find a reflection on, but it's basically done. Um, but yeah. The last talk is on the 18th, but I'm probably going to hand this reflection thing in literally right after the, the talk. So it is 11.40, I just got out of the shower, um, had lunch, and now I'm just going to finish more assignments. I wrote a bunch of notes on the speakers this morning, and actually learned a lot from the speakers this morning, and so I'm just going to finish that. I'm going to walk the dog first, and then, what else? Oh right, look for articles for my group project with Chantel and then one more source for that last forum I really just want to nail that today and get started on making samples for the store and that's about it for today morning guys it is 7 57 I just woke up <laughs> literally um I did nothing yesterday after the speak after the speakers I just did the reflection and then I did nothing for the rest of the day I took a nap and then I made some mock-ups for the store that me and Darren are doing and then today is Wednesday we only have one guest speaker today so it's gonna be about like an hour an hour and a half so yeah honestly on Tuesday I did a lot I did four forum posts out of five I did four EAQs one being more than like 200 and taking a break is fine there's definitely there's definitely nothing wrong with days where you do nothing after class. You are allowed to take naps. You are allowed to take breaks. And I feel like with nursing school, everyone's just studying all the time. <laughs> I am not ashamed to admit that I took a nap yesterday and I took a bit of a break. And that's what works for me. Nursing school is very overwhelming. There's so much reading. There's so much you have to do. But doing these things a day at a time really helps. It's very important not to overwhelm yourself. Oh, it's very important to not overwhelm yourself and to not overwork yourself. But after this talk, I don't know what I'll be doing, but probably get back to bed. But that's about it. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. Happy Friday. Um, today. I woke up late. I actually woke up at 8.05 and the thing with the guest speakers is that um, after a certain amount of time they won't let you into the Zoom call and so waking up at 8.05 I literally scrambled to get on the Zoom call and I managed to get on which is great. So our speaker today was the Vice President of the UNA which is the United 
um, the Union of Nurses in Alberta. And he basically talked about how nurses have like a political requirement as per CRNA, CRNA and they encourage us to be active in politics such as union bargaining and stuff like that. Um, it was actually very informational. They learned a lot of things about UNA. Um, I don't have a lot of knowledge when it comes to UNA. Most of my knowledge is BC and U, um, HEU and BCGEU because those are the unions that are here in my province. Basically, for this talk, my main takeaway was how can nurses advocate for patients if we don't advocate for ourselves first? Which is basically what our union does for us. Like they do our salary bargaining, our vacation times and stuff like that. And yeah. So today's main goal is to finish my assignment for this class, which is the written engagement assignment on the grass presentations. I really liked what we talked about today, even though... I was late for class. Um, I really like the main takeaway today, so I think I'm about writing about today. And yeah, that's all we're doing for today. Next week, it's gonna be the same, like kind of setup. I have the know I have a class on Monday afternoon, and then the talks for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday. I don't really have anything. Um, I am trying to meet with my mentor earlier, obviously, because I start my leave soon. Still waiting on the email to confirm who my mentor is. So, yeah, that is it. So, it is now 1.30. Um, I finished the last forum post, so all my forum posts are done, thank God, and I submitted it. Uh, my guest speaker... Um, reflection is done however it's too long so I think tomorrow I'll do it tomorrow I'm just gonna reread it and cut out what I need to cut there's only so much we can say with 500 words and having one source and I feel like 500 words is not enough especially with the topics that are being presented to us but yeah that's two more assignments I can check off on the checklist for the semester and yeah have a good weekend number five